Hi, I'm Mac, founder of the Millionaire Society and your personal mentor. The fourth step in becoming our partner is to begin using local leverage. Now at first, this may sound very similar to step three, but it's actually taking a big step further with introducing creative promoting methods to your local community. Now, many people that are trying to start their own online business make the mistake of thinking that they need to be marketing online. Now, sure, in step five, I'll be showing you how to dominate with social promotion, but before you get into that, local leverage cannot be overlooked. Now, if you did overlook it, you would be leaving so much money on the table. Here's why. The internet is massive and it's growing at an exponential rate which means it's getting extremely hyper-competitive, and that makes promoting successfully more challenging than ever before. So before you become a small fish in a big ocean, also known as internet promoting, you should enjoy being a big fish in a water glass, also known as local leverage. So where do you begin? Simple, with just your computer, printer, paper, and literally just typing up a few simple flyers knowing that they need to appeal to a large crowd. It can simply have the following. One, a big headline. Two, bullet points. And three, most importantly, a call to action. Now let me show you how easy this is. All you have to do is open up your local word processing program on your computer. I'm on a Mac, so I'm using Pages. And if you're on a Windows computer, you could probably use Microsoft Word, or I believe there's a program by Corel. Uh, just any word processing program and what you do is simply go to open up a template and on pages on a mac this is an example of uh, templates for flyers that they have built into the program now i recommend using flyers uh, for one very simple reason you'll notice that there are some flyers where they have uh, vertical cutouts where people can actually uh, tear off they're just a let's say a name and a phone number if you're trying to sell something well let me show you how you can be a little creative and for instance this for sale flyer you'll notice that over here on the right there's a big headline at the top there's a nice graphic in the middle and then there's a sub headline and a little description and under that description there are some vertical tear offs with which anybody that sees this on a bulletin board could tear it off so they could remember a phone number well after seeing how this flyer looks right here, let me go ahead and show you after you can customize it a little bit. This is what it could look like. Instead of it for saying for sale, you could have a say want to make money from home. And always keep in mind, since you want to appeal to a mass crowd, you want to use some language uh, that's very simple, uh, easy to read when somebody's walking by a bulletin board and something's really going to stand out. So obviously a lot of people would like to make money from home, so you could make that your headline. And then for that picture where it had built into the template of a bike, I actually went and found a picture of just a, a big pile of money and just put it in here just like that. Let me show you how easy it is to find pictures like this. You could go to a search engine, I like to personally use Bing, and type in like pile of money. And when you type in pile of money, you can search for images and then just start scrolling down until you find you know, a picture that you would like and I'm just gonna try to find another one just so you could see how easy it is to replace this. There's the one that I actually used for this example, but let's go ahead and find just another big pile of money. Let's use this one right here if we can. I'm just gonna hit full size, and it's gonna pull up that pile of money. There it is. I'm gonna right click, copy the image, and then I'm going to go back to my pages, right click, paste it, and there is the new image. So you can see how easy it is to actually customize a template, and you can make a bunch of different flyers with uh, different pictures if you like, and the trick is that you wanna make sure you use flyers that actually have these little tear-offs, because you can customize these tear-offs by just clicking on it and then you know typing, instead of it just saying make money, you can have it say make money from home, but most importantly, you wanna put your URL in here that you've actually set up in the previous step in the partner training with actually getting your own domain name. This is why you want to have your own domain name and have a short one because you could put it in promotions like this. For instance, if you have like joinmillionairesociety.com, 
you could put your URL in here. People could tear that off and go home and then they go to the URL. They decide to join the Millionaire Society through your little tear off and your little um, your domain that you had there. Then that's when you start getting $40 a month for every person that you invite. And also notice too where there was the sub headline and, and so forth. I put now you can because the headline was make money from home. And then I use this little description box just to be a little more specific on, on what it is uh, that they could be interested in. For instance, I put in, we are looking for motivated people who are interested in learning how to make money from home by building their own business. This is not MLM. This is not sales. This is not network marketing. This is a private community designed to help build online businesses. And the reason I say not MLM, not sales, because most people, when they see advertisements anywhere about making money from home, they immediately start associating it with MLM or sales, things like Avon and uh, st stuff like that. And this isn't obviously anything like that at all. So saying what it's not is always good because then, you know, people can be a, a little more curious about what, what is it. And then they'll tear off that sheet and go to your URL. And also, when you create multiple flyers, like let's say if you chose this one, if you were using a Mac and using Pages, well then you could make a bunch of different flyers with different images and post them in different locations and, and find out which ones get the most people tearing the little strips off. Because if you have, let's say, one with the image like I showed you before with two people on a money stack and all the little strips are gone on that one, but then you have the exact same flyer with a different picture with not as many uh, tear offs, then you know which which picture is actually getting more attention. You can start using that picture across all of your promotions. So that's really how easy it is to put your flyers together, and you can do all this from home. There's no need to go to a place like Vistaprint or go to an Office Max or anywhere to have them professionally done. You could just start printing them off at your own home computer. Once you have your flyers printed, then go around and post them in your local community. Places that have bulletin boards like shopping centers, grocery stores, department stores, hardware stores, gas stations, bookstores, malls, etc. And once you've got your flyers all over your local community, well the next thing that you can do is to create what I like to call drop cards. And these are usually the size of a business card with a headline and a strong sentence on one side with your call to action on the other side. Let me go ahead and show you how easy it is to create drop cards from home. Same with flyers, you want to open up a word processing software on your computer, and since I'm on a Mac, I'm actually using Pages, but if you're on a Windows computer, you could use something like Microsoft Word. And once you have your software open, you wanna to go to the template chooser. Now I'm looking at the template chooser on Pages, and I've navigated to the business card templates. Now it doesn't matter what business card template that you choose because you're going to be changing it completely. But the reason you want to go to a business card template is because it's going to open up a page that's formatted in a way that you can actually print business cards directly from your home computer. So let me show you exactly how that works. I am I chose this template right here, the one that says um, Milano business cards, and that's this theme right here. And just to show you, I've changed it completely where it's very simple. It just has a headline and a subheadline with a website. Now you'll notice that it's laid out with these blue lines because this is where the business card, this is the frame of a business card. And when you scroll all the way to the bottom, it'll actually show you, I don't know if it's in frame, it should be, uh, but it says Avery S371. What that is, is actually the number of the business card sheets that you need to go to a, an office supply store and actually buy. So you go to an office supply store, say I'm looking for business card sheets and I need Avery S371. And those sheets are actually gonna be formatted for this layout right here. So that way you can actually print a nice thick business card from your home printer without having to go and spend money online at a place like Vistaprint or anything like that. Now, if you don't have a printer, you don't want to buy any of these, then you can obviously go to Vistaprint or you could go to an office supply store and print them at a local store like that. Uh, but just know that the business cards themselves are very simple. And with the headline, you want to use a headline that's very attention grabbing, like make money from home. And then a sub headline, like with the help of millionaires. I mean, who wouldn't like to make money from home with the help of millionaires, especially if you have these dropped 
all over your local community and you're not actually presenting it to anybody, if they see us on the ground, they might be pretty interested. And then whenever you see this URL here, I just have the millionairesociety.com, but this is where you would put your actual URL that you've set up in the previous steps within this partner training that I've created. So if, for instance, if your affiliate URL would be joinmillionairesociety.com and you have it forwarded to your ClickBank hoplink, well, then that would be your URL you would obviously want to put in here because when people come to this then or go to the URL that you have, you're going to actually get credit whenever they choose to join the Millionaire Society. Now that you have your drop cards, it's time to go start dropping them around your local community. And what's fun about drop cards is that the possibilities of drop locations are endless. Unlike flyers where you're pretty much restricted to bulletin boards, with drop cards you can put them in amazing places that people will actually see them, like inside business and entrepreneur books at your local bookstore, which is a very targeted demographic for the Millionaire Society, inside business magazines at your local bookstores and even shopping centers, and my personal favorite, ATM machines. And this is my favorite spot because people that see a card about the Millionaire Society, when they're getting money out of their bank account, is very powerful. And with your waiter or waitress, and these people are usually not very satisfied with their job, so leaving them a card about the Millionaire Society can give them a very positive and enlightening experience that they'll never forget. And as for actual public places that you want to be sure to drop your cards, places like restaurants, hotels, airports, movie theaters, coffee shops, libraries, gas stations, just to name a few. Now here are your action steps for this Millionaire Society Partner Training. Action Step 1. 100 flyers. You want to start with printing just 100 flyers. They can all be the same design. And then just simply go around your local community and posting them in high traffic public locations that allow flyers to be displayed. And always remember, you want to use powerful words, keep the flyers as simple as possible, and even use bright paper or something to draw attention to your flyer over others, like how I was showing you to use different images for the money stacks if you wanted to use money images. In action step two, 100 drop cards. You want to start with printing just 100 drop cards, and they can all be the same design, and then simply start going around your local community and dropping them in high traffic public locations. And don't forget those ATMs. And always remember, you want to use powerful words, you want to keep the drop cards as simple as possible, and even make them sleek and interesting that will make someone want to pick it up and keep it. Welcome aboard. I'm very excited to have you as my business partner. And always remember that as a member of the Millionaire Society, you will never have to go anywhere else to find the keys to your financial freedom.